We will not cover security in this course, except for discussing implications in the context of some of the protocols we will examine. However, I'm going to provide a little bit of background on network security and why it is important and very hard to achieve. Today's internet was not originally designed with security in mind. The originators of the internet had the vision of trusting users deploying and using a transparent network. However, throughout the years of using the internet, we learned that the networks could be attacked and we need to defend them against the attacks by building architectures that are immune to the attacks. What are the major attacks in the networks? Malware that infect end systems or hosts could be spread using networks. They could be spread by user execution, like computer viruses, or by self-execution of infected objects, like worms. Spyware could be used on end systems to report keystrokes, websites visited, or upload information from an infected end system to the spying end system. Spoofing is another type of possible attacks in the networks. For example, in IP spoofing, a system pretends it is another system. Denial of service attacks prevent the serving end system from doing their usual functionality. This is done by exhausting them with too many requests. Denial of service attacks could be carried in different networks. The attacker selects the target, knows the valuable resource, and overwhelms the usage of resource, which might be server power or the bandwidth. This is done with sending too many requests or using the resource. These attacks could be planned in a distributed way through other infected hosts and by botnets. Sniffing is another form of network attack. Many of the protocols used in the internet are open protocols. This means the fields of the protocol are openly available in RFCs. If an attacker eavesdrops on the communication of end system using these open protocols, for example, on broadcast media like wireless, if the target does not use additional security and does not encrypt their messages, the messages are readable by the attacker. The revealed information could be used to hurt the people in the communication. Internet was not originally designed with security in mind. And since it does not have inherent secure mechanisms, it is hard to implement security in the networks. We will not cover security in this course, but throughout the discussion of the protocols in this course, we will see how sometimes networks could be attacked using this knowledge.